an unprecedented length of time given over to this vote. Lots of incentives we're hearing being offered to get people to the polling stations. Tell us more about the reasons behind that determination. Well, you're absolutely right on the incentives and on the time. People in Russia have been voting on this for a week. Uh, and it came on the back of those Victory Day celebrations a week ago as well. So I think the, the, the government was hoping that the vote would take place on the back of a wave of patriotic feeling following that, uh, that would get people out to vote. But getting the numbers is really important. Uh, this is a plebiscite rather than a referendum. As you mentioned, uh, the parliament's already approved this. And it's a whole, you know, it's not just one question. It's a whole range of questions. Uh, and I think, you know, President Putin is hoping this will define, you know, his presidency and the sort of direction Russia is going to be going in. You know, it, it includes issues on social reform. It includes cultural, ideological issues like, you know, Russia, Russia is a, a, a nation of faith in God. Uh, Russia uh, opposes uh, gay marriage, accepts only marriage between man and woman. It's a whole range of questions that people are being asked to vote on. But there's only one answer, yes or no, to all of that. Uh, <laughs> you know, so, so it's quite a strange thing, you know. And, as, as, as you mentioned, there are lots of incentives to get people out to vote as well. Like, for, for instance, you know, they're, they're, they're having raffles, you know, with, with prizes, including things like cars, you know, apartments. One woman won an apartment last week, uh, you know, as well as the much smaller prizes than that. But clearly, it's enormously important for Vladimir Putin to get as many people out to vote as possible so that he can present this genuinely as the will of the Russian people. He's already had uh, some aid from a, an official state pollster, uh, a sort of an exit poll, although according to the, to the law on this vote, there should be no exit polls, which says that uh, Vladimir Putin is going to get what he wants with a 70% vote, 76% vote in favour. So it looks like Russian voters have, haven't called his bluff on this and it's going the way he wants. But, you know, give us a better idea of why it was so important for Vladimir Putin to get this public stamp of approval. Yeah, I mean, this is, I think this is it's quite interesting because, you know, not that long ago, I think 2008, 10 years, more than 10 years ago now, Vladimir Putin said that, you know, the, he, he was against the idea of... Uh, president for life, that it was wrong. And here we are uh, 12 years later, and that effectively is what he's going for. Uh, and for a, quite a while, too, it seemed that the, the Kremlin was looking for, for a successor to Vladimir Putin. Uh, not, that's no longer the case. And I think part of the reason for that is fear on the part of the Putin entourage that whoever succeeds him will have to make the position his own. Because the Russian presidency is such a hierarchical institution uh, that if you become the president, you have to build your own team around you. And that means getting rid of the previous team. And I think a lot of it is about you know, positioning himself to make sure that he stays on uh, for as long as he possibly can. This will th make it possible because it resets the clock on his presidency, you know, assuming this go that goes ahead. So that when it, the current one ends in 2024, he'll be allowed to serve two consecutive terms. Uh, which is the new rule, that'll take him up to 2036. And he'll have been in power then as prime minister or as president for over 30 years. I mean, that's extraordinary. Nobody in Russia has ruled that long uh, since Ivan the Terrible in the 16th century. Uh, and that's more than most dictators even in you know, African countries where uh, authoritarian rulers have a tendency to stay on for decades in power. Uh, but. Putin's not too worried about that. You know, the most important thing for him, quite clearly, is to make sure uh, that he gets that opportunity to stay on power. He's not actually saying for certain that he will, that he will even stand in 2024. But the, in, the understanding in Russia is clearly that that would be the case, and that through these constitutional changes, he will be able to define what sort of Russia uh, will eventually be left to the people of Russia when he eventually goes. Okay, Robert, for now, thanks.